I think that uh, we can start. So, good morning, everybody. My name is Stefano Marchetti. I'm one of the founding partners of Retard of Technology, a web company based in Ferrara in the north of Italy. In Retartal, among other things, I deal with project management. To summarize the project and this talk, I can say that um, Regione Emilia Romagna, a public body from the north and Italy, designed and implemented a uh, e participation ecosystem. In this ecosystem, you participate plus, uh, you participate means I participate, is the plum based tool enabling citizens, authorities, um, as well as other stakeholders to contribute to the policies of the Regione Emilia Romagna by discussing them in virtual town squares, obviously powered by PLON. In this talk, I will discuss e-participation and policy. E-participation, as Wikipedia says, is the use of information and communication technologies to broaden and deepen political participation by enabling citizens to connect with uh, one another and with their elected representative. So e-participation can, can be seen uh, as a part of e-democracy. And uh, e-democracy means the use of ICT uh, technology by governments in general within any of the political processes of states, region, uh, and local government. I will also talk about policy. A policy is a plan of coordinated action that that can guide decisions, implement programs and plans in order to achieve the society's and country's development objectives. The policy is, uh, is one of the tools that the institution used to guide the decision uh, making, <coughs> decision -making uh, processes impacting of the big issues, uh, for example, environment, health, waste, energy, and so on. A little service note, before we get to the PLUM project, it is important to illustrate the design, or rather co-design phase, which in projects uh, such as this is a key issue. The project is centered on the theme of participation. Uh, the project itself was carried out in a participatory way, uh, so I will start with the history of this project. The project involves the territory of Emilia Romagna, an administrative region of northern Italy with about 4.4 4, uh, 4 million citizens. Emilia Romagna is one of the richest, most developed regions in Europe and has, the, uh, and has the third highest GDP capital in Italy. The project was commissioned by Regione Emilia Romagna, a public body uh, whose entire portal and internet infrastructure is based on Plon and has been a member of Plongo of Italia initiative for several years. The Regione Emilia Romagna has been developing a democracy since the 2004. Some of you may not know Italian geography, but I think that most of you know something about our beautiful region. Probably you know our balsamic Weinegger, maybe our Ducati or Valentino Rossi, maybe our Bortadella or uh, Pavarotti, or uh, maybe the ham from Parma, or uh, probably you know Ferrari, <laughs> or uh, probably you know uh, Parmesan, I mean the real one, not the imitation. So, okay, it's, uh, I think it is enough <laughs> or I will get hungry, so. <laughs> The project general goals included creating a web space to facilitate the participation of citizens, giving visibility and transparency to regional uh, policies, opening a channel uh, to listen and dialogue with citizens. And uh, the last goal is to completing an ecosystem of communication on the participation. The general idea was that the region should make available a platform that hosts virtual, square, virtual town squares. The squares are flexible and customized virtual spaces inserted into a single core and platform that encourages citizens and administrators to bring out a relevant topic, uh, connecting them with the policy under uh, the region, um, region uh, jurisdiction. Who are the targets of the project? Uh, Mainly, they include citizens of Regione Emilia Romagna, of course, public administration, such as the region itself and local authorities from its territory, 
knowledge operators, uh, for example, university and research center, and other, for example, uh, social partners, trade association, and so on. We can say that uh, in this project, the three main actors of the participative processes are uh, the participant, the citizen, the regional policies, and finally, the virtual, virtual squares uh, where the discussion take place. We come then to the design phase. As I mentioned, the design process has been a key aspect of this project. So it was crucial to find a team with the soft skill necessary for such an ambitious project. What we needed was the right mix. The team that carried out the project had different responsibilities and backgrounds. First of all, people skilled in project management of e democracy and communication project. Then, experts in the field of interaction design, user experience analysis, and modeling. And uh, technical people, including web designer, to implement the system in plan. This is our internal team. The project went through several phases, in particular, analysis to define uh, the objectives of the project, brainstorming to study other similar projects, system design from the interface and development point of view, implementation of a browsable prototype, the development of the production system, of course, and finally, the launch of the production system. Looking at the times, the project started in December of the last year, and the deadline was July 10 this year. The development was completed in about eight weeks, from May to release. On the vertical axis, uh, you find the kind of activity, activity uh, carried out, in particular analysis and coordination by the internal team. Considering the difficulties uh, encountered by the region similar, in similar past projects, it was important to choose the pivotal points through a participatory planning involving also project users. In particular, uh, as you can see or imagine, displayed uh, on, the, on the left, uh, you can see the, the co-design by the internal team and focus groups with other people outside our team. The phase of co-design was carried out by the internal team in several phases of the project. From the, as you can see, from the, uh, the initial analysis to the development through design and prototyping of the system. A key part of the project, which I will explain in a moment and displayed above uh, in the graph, are co-design activities taking place in focus group style meetings with several stakeholders from outside the team. We could have started directly. The team was prepared, strong, and numerous enough to proceed, but we chose to take the time, a lot of time, uh, to listen to people. This typical agile approach, which we use and will continue to use in the, in the future of the project, is therefore an iterative process cycling uh, through the stage of our design, build, and again evaluate. The first phase of the project was the, was the initial uh, analysis. We had to define our concept. For this reason, at the beginning, the team made an internal activity or activity of pure brainstorming. We had so many open questions. For example, what are the objectives of the project? Who are our users, our stakeholder? What does the participation mean for our stakeholder? It was an open question. Uh, how do we integrate with social networks? Which tool do you have to, pro to provide uh, for the platform? We carried out three main meetings, all of them made by the internal team. The first meeting was in January. We started completely from scratch, trying to remove preconception for our minds. And we had many ideas, but we needed to, to get quickly uh, to a summary. The last meeting was in February. We, we had more and more ideas, and uh, of course, more and more espresso to, to summarize our idea. We have to move on. At the end of this phase, we have come to define three main concepts, uh, five possible format and the way of conducting the focus group, in particular, which question to the participant. 
we are here. Before getting into debate of co-design with the stakeholder, we try to understand what other participation projects uh, do. So, in this phase, we analyzed some among the most interesting e-participation projects, both international and Italian, with the aim to observe uh, the different initiatives proposed, in particular regarding of Italian regions. We included uh, only site about concrete project of participation and involvement of citizens. In total, we analyzed uh, 60 international projects and seven Italian pr practices, and all of the other 19 Italian regions. The description of the analyzed uh, project aimed to bring out the tools used, uh, then the service provided, and their target audience. Then we came to the focus group phase, as you can see. Uh, as said before, we choose to dedicate time, a lot of time, to listen to people, our stakeholder, our citizen. With regard to the method, we shouldn't forget that it's not simple to make co-design and user-centered design within the public sector, because the public sector tends to communicate with the public in a unidirectional way by providing structured spaces. For example, fill the form in three copies, at least in Italy. I don't know <laughs> how it works in Brazil or, or other countries. So the participation uh, involves dialogue, listening, and openness. This means starting from people's real needs and then uh, design, build, evaluate iteratively to learn where, the, where and how to improve. The collaborative design was carried out using qualitative assessment. In particular, the meetings were conducted in a focus group style, bringing together um, a small group of people who are asked to investigate and develop a comparison about a specific theme with specific job-related uh, question. This method of, uh, the, this method of, uh, method of group work uh, is based on cooperation and on the self-responsibility of the participant. The attention is focused on shared objectives and the idea. The goal is to get a requirement and design idea, this is the, the real co-design, from the participant. The project should, in fact, meet the needs of uh, different type of users. It was crucial to involve different stakeholders. So we organized four focus group with a total of 35 people. The first group was made of communicators, designers, journalists, and experts in digital and classic communication. The second group was held with councillor and municipal readers. The third meeting uh, was held with citizen representative of association. The last meeting involved communication officers of the Regione Emilia Romagna. The focus groups were held during two months from February to March. Then, uh, the wish list that emerged from the focus group said, useful credibility of the site are crucial for our project. The, the site should be a hub for policies on, comple on complex topics. Feedback, uh, technical and political, should be provided for any proposal received from outside. Also, traceability and the coming proposal is needed. The languages used should be fresh, uh, easy to understand, customized for individual uh, categories of stakeholder. And a mix, of, a mix of channels, such as blog, infographics, uh, video interview, and so on, should be provided. Then, <laughs> a tough issue. After the, the focus group, before designing the first makeup, we discussed with the IT department of the Regione Emilia Romagna, who is responsible for um, developing and managing software within an organization of over 4,000 uh, people. Our application is a part of a quite regulated technology context where uh, any new site must comply with the guidelines that outline that in the way from, from many perspectives both communicative and technological. For example, there are guidelines prescribing how to arrange the content, what color you can use, um, which software module you can use and customize. And uh, in addition, the site of participation was a part of an installation already containing 25 uh, other sites. I will not hide that one of the most difficult aspects of this project was to handle uh, 
the right compromise between the IT department's need and the requirement emerging from the internal analysis and focus group. So we did analysis, benchmarking of other side, talk with different stakeholders, talk with ICT. We were uh, ready to build on our work. We were in April. We arrived at the system design stage on graphical. Our aim was to create the first prototype very quickly. Please note that uh, this picture is not from Flickr, but I'm from uh, our whiteboard, so. <laughs> But, but, take a look, we must design very carefully. And this means also taking into account the context in which a tool is used. It is important, repeat after me, don't fall in the trap of seeing the application regardless of its uh, user use context. So, be careful. Then we, as internal team, try to get to define the main outlines of the prototype without getting into the real layout design. To get this effect, we made the prototype in the form of a mock-up. In order to have the highest number of user feedbacks, the idea was to get to a partly browsable prototype so that uh, uh, we would be able to test it with, with the real users. But we needed the right tool to help us in our task. Our choices was UXPIN. Who knows you, uh, UXPIN? Okay. Uh, UXPIN is, online, is an online tool to build the UX design. It is, not a just, it is not just a way of framing up. In our project, we need to collaborate with teams, client, and stakeholders to exchange ideas, discuss solutions, and study the design from different perspectives. The prototype, as you can see or you can imagine, okay, it is washed. But the prototype uh, that you see, is, I will not go into detail, shows that um, the main routes, uh, show the main routes and they light the areas whose path has not been developed. Test users are, are uh, invited to explore and read the information contained in the object of the interface, making hypotheses about their function. In this exploration, they are invited to comment on the prototype uh, component. We were interested in a qualitative uh, feedback and not uh, quantitative feedback. The aim was to inform the design team on any items of interest uh, limits of the current proposal. With the prototypes, uh, with the top of prototype comes the name. The name actually was born several years ago with the whole participation platform. The name was uh, uh, you participo, più, with mean I participate. The plus indicates the evolution from the old platform. So we, did it, we ended up with a navigable, navigable prototype. It is time to figure out what the user think. So we, made, we then made user test. Most tests were done face to face with some stakeholders who participated in the focus group. Our tests were done remotely. In addition, we also used questionnaires to get specific answers on specific aspects of the prototype. We also prepared a video to explain the prototype to the tester. And uh, in this way, we got a lot of feedback and uh, many comments. 30 users uh, responded, proposing a total of 150 observations. Some comments were just, I like it. Others were, uh, you did a good job, but would you please feel, uh, fix also this part? This kind of comment were what we needed before starting the real implementation. So, uh, to summarize the results from the user testing, we can say that the basic idea of squares is considered uh, very interesting. So, there were no clearly negative judgments uh, against the concept. The platform is clear to most of the participants. Citizens prefer social authentication, like Facebook, Twitter, and so on. Participants want to have information also on local events. Citizens want clear information uh, on policies and participation processes. Participants also gave us useful indication 
um, for redesign, in particular on the clarity of labels and description. So, we finally arrived to the development phase. We were in May, and the deadline, the deadline was approaching very fast. It is time to put everything together, the analysis, the concept, the focus group, the prototype, the user feedback, taking into account also the constraint from the IT department. Here you can see the, our first proposal. Okay, it's a joke. The design was not made for flight on fancy, but by coming to terms with the standard of pre-existing interactions, such as not having a navigation menu. So our, uh, our job was very, very difficult to, to achieve. We start to, to work both on the graphic layout and on the plan stuff. Without going to detail, we, you see on the screen, more or less, graphic, graf, uh, graphic uh, draft, the home page, the virtual square, and the policy. For graphics, we needed to involve the whole team and also the IT in order to come to a quick decision. So we needed another collaborative system cap capable to give very clear indication to the graphic designers. The tool we choose is Envision. Uh, Envision in a, is a high fidelity prototyping, prototyping and collaboration tool. What you see is one of the proposal of home page. I don't want to, to see in detail, but uh, in red, you see the various contextual comments on the, on the system. Uh, the tool was greatly, greatly appreciated by the team. Okay, who are our users? In the design, we have to take into account the users of the portal. There are anonymous users, obviously, who visit the site, consult the open, consult the open squares, but they cannot make comment. Authenticated users may participate in the squares, commenting on the content, participate in forums, and in general, they can use the tools of the square. Editors are users who manage the editorial content, uh, editing content, moderating comments, and so on, on, uh, on content, forums, uh, and so on. Managers are users who have all the powers of the editors, and uh, Mm, they can decide uh, who can enter in a, in a square, who can uh, edit content, uh, set the home page, and change the permission locally in the square. Okay, here, uh, here we are. You can more or less imagine the overview of the home page of the system of IP+, the name of the, of the platform. Looking in more detail uh, at the home page, especially of the top, on the top, you can see um, the element that emerge from the dialogue with users. In particular, the part for subscribing uh, to the system, the space that summarizes the three way, the three step uh, to participate, and open squares. In the second part of the home page, uh, there are other squares shown with uh, more space in the, the top of the, of the screen, and the integration with social network. In fact, the communicative goal to achieve is to reach different channels where dialogue can be found. From the management point of view, um, the home page uses heavily ported page, a module used uh, already in the site of the Regione Emilia Romagna, and thanks to portal page, you can set in details the various block uh, of the page. This is the, um, the detail of the square. It is the space where participation takes place on a specific theme. In this example, we see a square where the um, problems of a geographical areas, such as flooding, water quality, and ecological quality of, of rivers are discussed. In general, a square shown, uh, shows different information, in particular duration, uh, that means how long uh, one can discuss on a square, who is the target audience of the square, association, company, citizen, uh, agency, and so on, the policy being discussed by the square, description of the subject of the, of the square, a list, a set of tools, we can, uh, we will explain in a moment. And uh, how would you manage a square? What you see is what the manager 
has a disposal. Uh, first of all, a square is a folderish type. The square contains additional contents, and there's a number of fields, from the image used for the cover to the closing data, uh, date of the square, the date beyond which is no longer possible to participate, and so on. In the middle of the square, there is an information dashboard showing, in this case, latest news, uh, the last documents created, last discussion uh, from the forum, and in this case, uh, multimedia galleries. Also, the dashboard of the square is made with portal page. When you create a square, a set of predefined, uh, already configured portlet are automatically created. The first line containing the news is made with a collection portal with custom view, and documents and multimedia galleries are made in a similar way. Each square has a number of possible tools, as you can read, and the most suitable ones are activated. Each participant chooses which tool to use to participate in the process. When you create a square, then spaces for all tools are automatically created, from the log to documents, from the forum to media galleries, and so on. I will not bore you with a description of all, of all the tools. Some tools are normal folders, so perhaps with a special view, such as document. For other tools, we have identified the best solution, often already partly existing plan. For example, blogs. As you can see or imagine on the screen, we use collective blog view. For the news, we use standard news which, uh, with a basic view, so not, nothing strange. For the media gallery, we used Retartal Video, our product, with the plone thumbnail view. And also for the other tools, we looked for the best cost-benefit ratio. We have seen how to square works, and now let's take a better look at how the policy was implemented. On a policy, <clears throat> you can open several squares. Each policy has a specific color, which is, which is then inherited by the square inside. This is important from the point of view of communication. A policy has an introduction and shows the list of all active squares, as you can see. Also, the policy uses portal page for the page layout. Then, um, one of the key issues for managers and editors of the square is to be reactive and respond quickly, very quickly, to users. So it is important to be informed about what is happening on the system, real time. For notification, we mainly use the, the rules of PLON, you see on that part of the screen. We use them to inform the editors and manager via email, typically when something happens in the various areas of the square, and then when something happens on news, documents, and so on. Some special notification has been developed, in particular for the first access to each new user, and then a gratification for deleted comments. In addition, in order to provide timely update, in this case to, sit to the citizen, we have also provided the mechanism for their uh, notification. Notification are separate for each square. Participant can set separately notification for each type of content. One of the main issues uh, of the project also clearly emerged from the focus group is to give the users an easy subscri subscription mechanism. For this reason, we could base uh, authentication on social network. How does Plon manage authentication? As you probably know, Plon use, uh, uses PASS to authenticate. PASS is a pluggable system, and there are several plugins for authentication with social networks. These products are focused on authentication with a single social network, but IP Plus, our platform, requires authentication with different systems. There are other excellent, excellent systems that unify access to uh, social network, for example, generating engage. But there is uh, the question of personal data management. The question is, where are personal data stored? The privacy issue is a critical item for the public administration. So our choice was Verus. Do you know Verus as an authentication system? No? Verus became the best choice when, we, when there are strict 
um, privacy requirement. We are not bound to an external service provider, and we can manage a known authentication system. Veru also is open source. Veru simplifies complex authentication protocols by providing a simple, consistent API. Verus integrates with uh, most web applications regardless of the language used to write the website. Verus is a product written in Pyramid, so it's not a plumb loop product. Verus can be executed as a service or can be inserted in a WSGI stack. It normalizes identity information from different provider sources, for example, OpenID, Google, Facebook, and so on. And uh, uh, it is very important. It uh, speak, uh, support the standard portable contact. Verus is a pluggable system. Each supported OAuth provider is a plugin. It is possible to add a new plugin, including those, uh, those from custom authentication system. How does Verus work? As you can see, uh, in the first step, website send a post to the auth provider URL with an endpoint that user should be redirected back to when authentication is complete and includes any additional parameters that the auth provider requires. At the second step, when the auth provider finishes the authentication, the user is redirected back to the endpoint specified with the post, which include the user's authentication data. The problem is that uh, uh, there were there was there was uh, sorry no pass module to integrate with Verus. Uh, we then made a new module now released on GitHub. The module obviously requires an active Verus service. Um, the pass module reads the data in the portable contest format and passes them to Plone. Depending on the provider. Plone user fields are populated with more or fewer data. For example, Twitter does not provide the email, Facebook does not provide the photo, and so on. We also change the behavior of users in Plone. Some data, thanks to Verus, come from social network, while others are directly available on Plone. Let's come to the result that we, uh, that we obtain. As a development team, we worked hard. It was difficult to meet the many constraints by the ICT department. At the end, we have developed a number of things. Uh, the stuff de developed by us is on the left. And uh, on the right, you can see the stuff from PyP. Uh, you can read them later on the share. So in a little more than uh, two months this summer, we have started on IP plus four squares belonging belonging to four different policy ip plus itself had its own square since the beginning to collect feedback from users there were around 20, uh, 250 regist registered users and considering the period of summer vacation it seemed a good start point one of the reward of the ip plus is that uh, he won great a uh, prestigious national award in the special section dedicated to open data and participation. IP Plus overcame uh, other 15 uh, national projects, three of which are, cram, are from Regione Emilia Romagna. The lessons we learn are it is important that it is important to involve stakeholders right from the start of the design process to quickly collect their constructive criticism, criticism and warnings about existing constraints, technical, editorial, organizational, and so on. Don't be afraid to find out that citizens look to public organization in a different way from people inside the organization. And it is important to highlight positive feedback from people. And the other lesson is that Plone really rocks. So for the next step, the approach that we used and that uh, we will continue to use is an iterative, an iterative process so that the, so the phases of design and build evaluated are repeated. So now we are evaluating the outcomes and user feedback in order to improve our system. Now we are restarting the cycle of design and build. 
In particular, we will give more attention to the use of IP+, which mobile devices. In other words, we will take the system to the places where face-to-face -face meeting and physical participation happen. Oh, okay. This is another story, but okay. Any questions? Um, so you used a lot of open source plugins, but uh, is the whole site and the Squares concept open source so another government could install it and use it? The idea, the idea is that uh, to, to reuse and share the solution to other uh, local government. Be also because uh, our region uh, start to collaborate with the Plongov initiative. So the idea is to to make a package um, distribution, a uh, special build out, to uh, put all the stuff together and share with other uh, public bodies. Other questions? No. Okay. Thank you. <laughs>